hurt a little. No, 88th minute. Elphick. Hutton. Strikes! Oh my goodness! Alan Hutton is putting Aston Villa in the Premier League. Or are they? <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another video, this time looking at the championship final between Aston Villa and Derby County. And we'll talk about that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button and get bang up to date with all things championship related, club and rivals related, woo, football related. We're going to all here under one roof right folks unfortunately this year's championship final doesn't include blackburn rovers so maybe next year will be our year and hopefully behind me you'll be able to see some snapshots of a hundred different championship finals that i'd simulated between this year's finalists aston villa and derby they should be scrolling across the screen here and what i'm going to do for you today is uh, bring you a, a sort of rundown of those 100 uh, finals and kind of present the results to you and kind of maybe at the end of it hopefully give you an example of what I believe, or what the simulation believes, uh, what happened this year's final at Wembley? That's right. And um, boy, oh boy, there were some, there were some bizarre old results in that cluster of a hundred. Uh, and here are a few pick of them. Is a is a few choice selections, should I say, of them? Uh, how about this one for you, Villa fans? Uh, Aston Villa actually turned over Derby in one of the simulations, four nil. That's right. With Tammy Abraham got a couple of goals. There's a big fat OG in there, and there's another goal scorer in there. I can't read it for the life of me. It is at Albert Adoma. Uh, and there was a couple of uh, interesting yellow cards and a, a bit of an injury and all that kind of drama. But don't worry, Derby fans. Don't worry. You had a 4-0 spanking of your own. That's right. Dwayne Holmes with a double and Martin Waghorn scoring 2-1 uh, into the last minute as well. Right rubbing the salt in the wounds. In a very, very, it looked quite an even game when you look at the shots. Um, uh, with with both teams scoring thir uh, having 13 cracks at goal with nine of them on target four derby seven for villa uh, but this is the one we us third parties would like to see a 3-3 classic after uh, extra time going into penalties uh, and then derby snatching it 5-4 in a game that pretty much hit everything a lot of yellow cards uh Connor Hoonhain was the, the the man who did miss that big fat penalty. In fact, Waghorn did miss one in in, a bit in extra time as well. So they could have won it earlier. But anyway, uh, that's just a couple of little cherry picks out there. If you want to check out the full 100 at a bit more leisure, you can either pause the video uh, bit by bit by bit. Or you can head over to a uh, link that I put in the old description down below. It'll have a, uh, a zip drive in there with all 100 snapshots. So you can uh, double check that I ain't doing anything shady. I did do all 100 of these. It was a bit of a timely process. I'll talk about that in in just a second and also in there there's a couple of other links one to the data um of of all the stuff that i'm going to uh, bring to you right here right now uh in a, an excel spreadsheet sort of format and uh, there'll be another link in there for another bit of information so all the data that i'm going to present to you right here right now is readily available if you want to be a geek just like me and like numbers and all that just click on them it does send you in a bit of a wild goose chase but you'll get there eventually um yeah anyhow so uh what i did obviously there are uh, a lot of cool data data updates out there on the world wide web i actually went to sort it out uh si and i'll stick a link to that website in the old description below which which lets you download um a, a different start date to to the typical normal scenario there was a little bit of a problem with the with the data update i must admit i did have the same problem with the champions league one um so i had to go back all the way back to around about early april and kind of simulate all the other fixtures and hope for the best and eventually after a lot of restarting and rebooting and all this kind of stuff i eventually got to a point where aston villa and derby made it to the playoffs and then i kind of had to uh again rejig it a couple times to get them both into the final in the correct order so it wasn't an easy process so that took a couple of hours in itself and then the simulations also took 100 uh, uh the, the, the simulations of 100 games also took a bit of time so the, the yeah, a lot of time and, and, and effort went to go into this and hopefully you'll enjoy it uh it is a very very uh interesting read so let's kick it off and take a look at some of the stats for you uh first and foremost the most amount of goals in the 100 simulations uh, were like this. Villa only scored the, 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 the highest amount of goals they scored was four. Derby actually put five past Villa in one of the simulations as well. The total different goal scorers though throughout the 100 simulations are like this. Villa had 12 different goal scorers. Derby had 13. So maybe already you might be getting a picture, a faint, or maybe a glimmer of hope as to see who will go or who will be the, the football manager's selection 
for this uh, for the grand prize of the Premier League football next season. So uh, it, look, it does look like Derby at the moment, but maybe just maybe this will change your mind here. Here are a list of the top 10 goal scorers uh, by, by team. And obviously the amount of goals. So in 10th place, it was Wayne Holmes with nine goals. Obviously, he's a Derby man. Uh, next up, we have another Derby man, Curtis Davis. That right. That's right. Ten goals for the centre-back. Uh, also plays for Derby. Uh, meanwhile, we have another Derby man. And that is Mason Mount. Got 11 goals this season for Derby. You can see the sliver of a uh, I don't know, claret there. So you must admit. Now, this one's a bit of a strange one because I don't think he's actually on the books at Aston Villa. Um, I think he's actually maybe in Australia. Ross McCormack got 11 goals. Obviously, I can. I, there were some things I could tweak with it without without getting in and getting involved too much uh, detail. But uh, yeah, Ross McCormack was in there. He slipped through the net, so he got 11 goals. Uh, the majority of them from the bench. In fact, all of them from the bench. Uh, next up, we have another Derby man, Craig Bryson, with 15 goals. For Derby throughout the 100 simulations. Uh, next up, we have another. It's a very heavily sided. Um, but don't let that fool you, folks. Martin Waghorn got 17 goals for Derby. That's right. So we have at the top uh, six, we have one Villa player. And he's not even really on the books. So, uh, yes, it does get... Hopefully, it's a little bit interesting towards the top of it. Jack Marriott is next with 24 goals for Derby. But no worry, folks. Don't worry, Villa fans. Here, here they come. In, in mass abundance. J uh, Jonathan Codger got 27 goals for Villa throughout the 100 Sims. Albert Adoma got 31 goals for Villa. And the main man at the top of the pile is Tammy Abraham, who got 32 goals for Aston Villa in the 100 simulations. But it does it do does leave you sitting on the fence. And to be honest with you, I have done a simulation like this for the Champions League, and it was definitely a lot more one-sided than than you'd imagine. This one was a lot more closer to the money. Um, so let's break those goals down a little bit and take a look at uh, all of Aston Villa's goal scorers. Here they are. Uh, Neil Taylor got two. There was three old goals. James Chester got three. Tommy Alfred got four. Connor Hunahen got six. McGinn got seven. Jack Grealish got eight. Glenn Whelan got uh, also eight. Ross McCormick got 11. Codger, 27. Adoma, 31. And uh, Tammy Abraham uh, scored 32 goals. Uh, so they were runaway, runaway goals. In fact, those top three were runaway goal scorers. When you compare the derbies, there were more of them. Uh, Bradley just got two. Cole got two. Richard Keogh got two. Uh, Tamori got two. Mason Bennett got three. Nugent got five. There were six OG goals from Aston Villa players. Dwayne Holmes got nine. Davis got ten. May Mason Mount with 11. Uh, Craig Bryson, 15. Uh, Wycon 17. And Marriott with 24. It does, but it is very, it's, it's very tight. In fact, there are so, there are some real bizarre statistics um, uh, throughout these. But anyway, let's, let's dig, dig a little further. What about the old red miss? Now, this is a another lopsided um, statistic here. Aston, out of the 100, 100 simulations, Aston Miller got 15 red cards and Derby just got six. Um, and those six red cards look like this for Derby County. There's only two players, Craig Bryson and Bradley Johnson, uh, both received um, three red cards apiece. As for Aston Villa's whopping 15, we'll take a look at it. Uh, Tommy Elphick, Grealish, both got one. Alan Hutton got two. Neil Taylor got three. Conor Hoonahan got three. And John McGinn, that's right. Scott's midfield dynamo got five red cards in the 100 simulations. So not too shabby. But now here we go, folks. It is the money time. This is where it all come, boils down to uh, the 100 simulations. I'll tell you now. The average amount of goals scored by Aston Villa was 1.4, with Derby scoring 1.1 goals. So that it's, it's not... It's not if you check out the Champions League one, it's not as lopsided as, as it was there. This is very na narrow margins, very narrow margins. But the, 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 real, the, the real proof of the pudding is what happened in uh, those 100 simulations. Well, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna break it down for you now. So out of the 100 simulations, Aston Villa won 63 of them. Uh, they lost 37 and they scored 140 goals, conceded 110 goals. Uh, and obviously those, those numbers kind of flip around a little bit for Derby. Obviously they, they, they only won 37. And lost 63. So the simulation says that over 100 times Villa will win the majority of them. Two thirds of them in fact. So uh, bear that in mind. Bear that in mind before we try to bring this into a dicky bow and wrap it up in a nice little little, little, little bit at the end. Um, it does not get better though when you break it down a little bit further and take a look at extra time and penalties. Especially for a derby point of view. Um, if it does go to extra time, Villa's your team. Out of the nine times that it went to extra time, Aston Villa won six of them. Derby... Uh, won three of them. 
But on the flip side, if it does go to penalties, then Derby, this is where you you could you could uh, hold your head up high. You absolutely uh, put a, put down a number here with a nine six advantage over Aston Villa. The fifteen times it went to extra time. So out of the grand scheme of things, out of a hundred times that this simulation took place, uh, twenty four of them went to extra time or penalties, um, and the majority of those, uh, in fact, the majority of those. Uh, no, it's even. It's even. So if it does go beyond uh, the initial 90 minutes, it's all square. 50-50. The outcome is 50-50. So that's pretty much it, folks. But ultimately, what does the simulation prove? What does it think will happen between Aston Villa and Derby County at Wembley uh, this coming bank holiday Monday? Well, it thinks Aston Villa will win two goals to one over Derby County with Tammy Abraham, Adoma scoring the goals for Villa and Jack Marriott grabbing the consolation for Derby County. But that's what the simulation predicts. What do you think will happen? Stick your own thoughts and opinions down in the old comment section down below as to what you think will happen in the championship football playoff. Who do you think will be going? to the Premier League who will be back with Blackburn Rovers next season in the Championship I want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the old comments section down below and that my friends is going to pretty much wrap this sucker up hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash the thumbs up and if you're new smash the subscribe and before you get out of here make sure you check out the old description links to my other social media platforms are in there Twitter Facebook and of course the hotly released Patreon page boys and girls where you can look at maybe giving uh, giving some other support to the channel besides your viewership there are three tiers of support if you want to check that sucker out there is a link to that sucker and there is a link obviously to all this data for you if you want to be a geek just like me and have a look at the the all 100 simulations in slow time moving forward on the channel we are going to be delving into championship football a little bit uh in more detail next season i'm also probably going to be doing some uh, transfer uh rumors and, and transfer roundup for the championship on a weekly basis i am i haven't actually committed to that yet because uh, i've got a, a busy few days up ahead um but anyway if you've got any other suggestions about championship coverage if you want to stick your opinions in the old comment section down below but anyway, Anyway, big thanks, a big shout out to Sorted Out SI for the for the for the data update for Football Manager 2019. While I have you, I did complete a long going series of Football Manager 2019 with the Mighty Blackburn Rovers, where we took them from Championship all the way to Champions League winners. Uh, oh, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Uh, it did take a few seasons, so there are ups and downs. But anyway, that's wrapped up. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. And again, I'll be available. I'll be live soon on Twitch. Uh, links to that sucker is also in the description below. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>